Hi, this is Harish from Informatica GCS team. In this presentation, I will be speaking about how to find the U limit values picked up by an Informatica process when in running state on AIX platform. So the agenda of the presentation is something like I'll talk about different types of Informatica processes for example Java processes and native processes in Informatica and a brief on resource limits shown by ULimit and then it will be followed by a demo of how we can collect for the Informatica processes. So different Informatica processes are something like it can Informatica can run two kinds of processes one is a Java process where the executable will be Java and the other one is native process where the executables will be different compared to Java so some of the example of a Java process are node process, admin console process, the DIS process, MRS process so all these will have an executable of Java an example of native processes in Informatica are the IS or the integration service process which will have PM server as executable and the repository service which has PM represent as the executable. So now let's come on what are the resources that is shown by ULimit command on AIX or it can be on any platform. So there are various system resources which are required by a process and operating system has given a command called ULimit to control or to view them. So few of the system resources can be the common ones are the core file size and the number of open files, the f total file size it can create, the process can create, the stack size for a process etc. And as I mentioned using ULimit command a user can view or change any of the system resources available here but this will not help in viewing the system limits or the system resources for a process which is already up and running and that's exactly what we are going to show in this presentation in few of the next slides how we can capture this information of a already inf running Informatica process here I will show two ways of doing that here first one if it is for a Java process and the second one if it is a native process so if it is a Java process and on AIX Informatica Java process then what you have to do is find out the PID or the process ID of the Java process and then issue a kill minus 3 or send a kill signal of 3 or kill quit signal for the Java process ID this will generate a file named similar to java core and followed by numbers dot txt under the info home tomcat bin directory and to find the user limits or the resource limits just you have to search for the uh, eye catcher ci user limits this will take you to the section containing the limits information and you will find the various limits listed out there let's see if you can find the same information here so here I have a console and let me search for the Java processes so here I pick one of the Java processes running Informatica Java processes running here so this is the PID now kill hyphen 3 and this so I am already in this tomcat bin when I open this java core and search for ci user here you go as I have highlighted here we can find the limits which is captured by the Java process please note that the Java core will be found in the 
Informatica installation directory slash tomcat slash bin so now let's move ahead for what to do if it is a process a non-java executable process or a process where other native executables are used for example pm server or pm represent etc so again we have to find out the process id for that and here we have to make use of the dbx utility or the dbx debugger on aix to collect the same information for us so the steps are attach find the process id attach the process to dbx collect the limit information you can redirect it to file as well and then detach from dbx so the, uh, the third step is important to detach because if you don't detach then the process will be kind of hung forever inside dbx so detaching should be required once the required information is collected using dbx let's check in our console here let me find out the PM server process which is already running here you go and then dbx hyphen attach in the PID now dbx is attached to the process so here we have to run the command proc r limit so it will print on the console if you want to print or redirect this information to a file it's always good to have the executable name associated we can also associate the PID as well and here you go detach so when we open this file or say at this file information will be present for us so uh, here the here the here are the steps for the native processes or the processes which doesn't have a Java as an executable also please note that the same processes of finding the R limit or the limits system limits can be used for a Java application as well or any Informatica process running as Java so for a Java application or an Informatica Java process you have two options or two ways you can find the R limit or the limits of a uh, resource limits which is nothing but the first example of using a Java core or generating a Java core and going through the section and with the second example where using the DBX as a debugger So we would love to hear from you about the presentation or any other presentation or videos that we have on YouTube. So you can provide your feedback to support videos at informatica.com or you can also follow us and comment on Twitter. Thanks for watching.